Good morning, Frylands Falcons. It's a great day to be a Falcon, boys and girls. Good morning, Mr. Presley here with you with the Mariner Rally Monkey. That's right, the Mariners, they're doing a great job. They're beating the A's. Hopefully they can keep winning and the Astros and Rangers could start losing, right? That's what we like to see. We're getting down to the end of the season with the Mariners. Go Mariners, woo! Remember, every Friday is Blue Friday to celebrate the Mariners and Seahawks. So this Friday, remember to wear your blue or your Mariner and Seahawk gear. Hey, today is Wednesday. It's a wonderful Wednesday of Frylands. Wednesday, September 20th, 2023. We're glad you're back with us for a great day of learning. It's a little soggy out there. It's getting close to fall. Fall's coming at the end of this week. Um, the last few days of summer, and I guess it's decided to just uh, have a little bit of rain or misty rain on us a little bit today, but hopefully we can get outside, get some fresh air, run around and have some fun play while we're working hard in the building and playing hard out at recess time. Hey, as you get started on this wonderful Wednesday, it is Falcon Spirit Day. Are you wearing red, white and blue today as part of Falcon Spirit Day? I hope so. Every Wednesday we do that. Also every Wednesday, guess what we do at lunch? Pizza day, that's right. Today, pepperoni pizza with roasted broccoli, or you can have a sun butter and jelly sandwich. Please remember to take a fruit and a vegetable with every school meal. You know why I'm in the library? It's a reminder for you. This week is the last week to turn in your summer reading challenge forms with Mrs. McBride. So by the end of the day on Friday, Mrs. McBride will be pulling out winners um, for the summer reading challenge. So get those forms in. You just got a couple of days to do that. So keep that in mind. Um, yesterday I talked to you a little bit about um, what is allowed or not allowed at school and I just wanted to remind you of that. Remember we're not play fighting out at recess time. We don't play fight because that's not very safe. It looks like real fighting and kids end up getting hurt when we play fight. If you want to play fight and wrestle around at home, <coughs> excuse me, or in your neighborhood, um, that's up to you to do with your, your friends and your family. Um, but at school, again, part of our expectations is we're not play fighting because it looks like real fighting and kids can get hurt. We also don't allow gum and candy at school, so just a reminder about that. Someone asked, what about if I bring like a piece of candy like at lunchtime, like in my lunch? My, my parents maybe put that in there or I have that in there. That would be fine if you had a piece or two of candy. What I'm talking about is you can't bring candy to school in big, huge bags and eating tons of candy all day or handing out candy to other kids. So we don't hand out candy, we don't sell candy, and we don't bring a bunch of candy to eat ourselves. But if you've got like a piece or two of candy for your lunchtime or something like that, that, that is okay with us. Um, it's more of the problem of it being a distraction and we don't need that much sugar. We don't need kids handing out candy and stuff. And then the last thing is, we're not talking about selling candy. We don't sell anything at school. Just a reminder, we don't um, sell anything. Kids don't sell, <coughs> excuse me, kids don't sell candy um, or bracelets or other things at school. So just keep that in mind. Hey, you know, this week, I know you've been talking a lot about um, in your classrooms about uh, growth mindset, that mindset of, you know, I'm growing, my brain is growing, I'm learning every day. I may not know something now, I don't know it yet, but I am going to. I know that if I work hard, I think about things, I ask for help if I need it, and I have a little bit of struggle, but I keep working hard to try and figure it out, that's a growth mindset. Because remember, all of us learn at different paces, at different times, they learn different ways. And so remembering that, that like even when I was younger, I didn't know things and I still don't know things now. So I'm still learning. We're always learning and growing every day. If I think I know everything, then that's when I'm like, wait a minute, that doesn't sound right. I'm learning every day, boys and girls, just like you are. We learn and grow every day, and it's important to realize that that's um, part of who we are. That's called human growth and development. That's how we grow and we learn, um, whether it's making friends and having our social skills, getting along with each other, or working hard on our math skills, or our writing or our reading and getting better and better at it by practicing and working through when we struggle a little bit. So keep that in mind. You're doing a great job. The last thing I wanted to share with you is tonight is Toscano's uh, Dine Out Night with the PTA. So if you and your family want to go there um, from five to eight, they're doing a 15% a, um, a 
of all the money that they bring in um, from Freiland's families on dine out would go back to our PTA. You do have to have this form with you when you go and hand it to them when you first go in. Um, but again, it is part of the dine out that the PTA is doing tonight. So I just wanted to remind you of that. All right, you ready for Wednesday? Are you ready to work hard and do your best? That's all we ask you to do, boys and girls. Work hard, do your best every day, and always remember your Freiland's family cares about you. Teachers, please lead your students in the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, the Rally Monkey and I are gonna have a great day. We'll see you soon.